Hello and welcome, I'm Bio, and today we're looking at another Play It published game. Interestingly enough, a Play It developed game as well. Yes, there was a title card that popped up that specifically said that this game was uh, developed, published, and distributed by Play It. That's interesting. It's also interesting the name of the game and what kind of game it is. This is Arcade Classics Volume 1. I wanted to let you know straight away, there is no Volume 2. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, and this game came out on PlayStation 2 and I believe the Nintendo DS. It was the DS one cancelled. Oh, of course it was, yes. So it was planned for the DS, but it got cancelled. And it also got re-released on the PS3 in 2012. I reckon Play It re-released a lot of their games in 2012 on the PS on the PS2. Come on, play it. Come back. Re 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 uh, re release some of your old games on a. Uh... Oh, it's going straight to the demo. Yeah, re release some of your old games on um on PC and Switch. You'll be surprised. They'll probably do well. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> oh, come on. It's easy money, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, and, and yeah, this game came out in April 2006. I would like to say April 1st, but no. April 20, 21st. But yeah, the fact that they've called this Volume 1 leads me to believe that they thought there was going to be a Volume 2. But these games never do well, because... Again, literally, games you may like. The Arcade. Arcade Action 30 Games. Dynamite 100. All three of which being Phoenix Games published game uh, video games that are exactly like that. What about Retro, eight, uh, eight classics, uh, arcade classics of yesteryear? There's, there's quite a few games that I played like this on the channel now. And I just don't understand the mindset here, right? Of how, like, why do you think this would be a popular game? This is 2006 as well. Why did you think that this would be well-received? Like, this isn't Midway Arcade Classics, right? That's different. That actually had games. <laughs> Decent games. So. Okay. We can do the... Okay, I just always like to look at the uh, options. What's records? Oh, every, every, all the records are set by AAA. Fantastic. Which is definitely this, not this game. This game is not AAA. So there's only six games in here. Is that what is, or is there more? No, no, I'm pressing the D-pad, nothing's happening. So there's only six games here. Meteor Shower, Incoming, Space Rescue, The Invasion, Alien Raiders, and Bugs. Like all four of the games are space related. Maybe five, I don't know what Incoming's like, but. Very strange. And most of the time, these games are basic blatant copies, plagiarized of classic games like Space Invaders or Centipede or Asteroids. They always they always pick the same ones as well. They don't like think to themselves, hey let's pick a more obscure but but also regarded as classic games to do. No, they always pick the same. Yeah, so there is only six games, okay. So even less than some of the ones I played, right? Like I played like Galaxy Games by Phoenix Games. And at least those games were somewhat unique in a way. And they had quite a lot. Like, Arcade Action has 30. 30 of these games. And yet, Play It only did six. Kind of crazy, really. But let's have a look at Meteor Shower. We'll, we'll actually have a look at all six games. Because there's only six, we'll have a look at all six. Uh, okay, so... Oh, it's Asteroid. I, do I even need to call it? Do I even need to call it, right? Okay, so R1 goes. I was pressing X, expecting that would be go, but it's not. X shoots the gun. Fantastic. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> it's asteroids. Like, literally, it's like... You can't even write this... You, you can't even write this shit, right? Because it's just comical. It honestly is just comical. How they don't even try. Like, it's quite clearly a clone of Asteroids. It's like, it's always the same games that they try to copy as well. It's just, why? 
Is Asteroids that good, or is it just that easy to, to make a carbon copy of this? Oh, I've died. Well, I'm already bored of this, which is fantastic. It's Asteroids. Like, he... What makes me laugh is with these. This is a PS2 game, and they decide, hey, let's remake some arcade... Let's, let's remake some Atari 2600 games. Like, seriously? Seriously? Like, you could have picked some NES games. I don't know any, anything else. Literally anything else. Right? I might even do an exercise after this. And where I go and just have a look at some Atari 2600 games and just pick a few that would be even remotely more interesting. So let's go into incoming. What do you reckon incoming is going to be? What do you reckon? We've seen asteroids. What's next? What's next do we have? <gasps> This is, uh... My city's gonna die. Oh, yeah, boom, boom. They've all died. Oh, some of them, if they get in within a certain range, don't work either. I wanted to get the uh, thing. So we, we... Oh, we managed to survive somehow. Okay. I'm already bored of this game. It's just, I don't know what game that's a copy of, but very clearly, it, it's got to be a copy of some game. I'm just not familiar with it. Space Rescue. What we reckon Space Rescue? Warp, Shoot, Smart Bomb. Okay. Our type? No, I know. No, I know this game. Oh, do I, I don't even know. I know. Yeah, I I know what this is. I know this is one hundred percent a copy of a game. I just don't know the name of the game. Somebody, if watching this, might might be able to comment what this game is a copy of. But I know this... Whereas I was unsure what game potentially it could be, I know what game this is. I just don't know its name. But yeah, look. It's, these are like Flash games. You're selling me Flash games here. Like, what? I just don't get it. You're selling me Flash games. I, I could play every single one of these games for free. In the browser, the invasion. It's going to be Space Invaders. Come on. Come on. Come on. These con oh, that, those controls lead me to believe. Space Invaders! Yeah! Of course it is! Because we're too lazy! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I can't believe how lazy that is. Oh no, I died. What a shame. I just, you can't expect me to play these games any longer than 60 seconds or longer because it's just the same trollop. It's the same Alien Raiders. What do you reckon this one's going to be? I just can't believe it. Oh, oh. Oh, it's just a variation of Space Invaders. Well, as long as I dodge them, what are they going to do about it? Is this Space Invaders, or is this just, like, a version, a different version of Space Invaders? Or is it a game that copied Space Invaders and just kind of made it so that enemies can come and attack you as well? I don't know. But that's fantastic. So two of the games are kind of the same as each other. So far, every single game has been 
like kind of space related even incoming is kind of space related what's bugs is bugs going to be the standout game like come on play it couldn't you couldn't play it of simply just i don't know i'm just trying to think what they could have done differently oh it, it, it's snake Thinks snake? I don't know what this is. Centipede? Is this literally centipede? There we go, we got him. Yeah, I re this has got to be a copy of another game as well. It's got to be. But there we go, we've, we've played every single one of Arcade Classics Volume 1 games. Look at them all. It's just unreal. Just, I just can't believe it. I really can't. So let's do, let's do a, probably a futile exercise, right? But let's, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. So I'm going to go to the Atari 2600. Right? Like, I, you're telling me they couldn't look at, looked at like, the Game Boy or some other? They could have looked at anything and thought, yeah, let's, let's copy that. But no, let's, uh, let's copy some Atari 2600 games. Boring ones at that. You, you've got the Sword Quest games. All right, so here I'm going to bring it up. So I'm just to do which one was I using before? Was it Displayed Capture Five? Yeah. Okay. So here we are on Game of Figures. Here is the Atari 2600. Here is the Atari 2600 with some games here. Shall we pick some games that we could have? Right. All right. I'm I'm not even going to click on all games. Let's just pick six games. It's probably gone to demo, hasn't it? Yeah, it's going to demo. Um, let's pick six games, right? That are going to replace the ones in this collection, right? Adventure. I'm going to go with Adventure, Gangster Alley. I'm not going to pick Superman or Pac-Man for obvious reasons. Sword Quest, 9 to 5. What have we got here? Kung Fu Master and Excalibur. So let's have a look at these games. So we have Adventure, right? Here's Adventure. Right, there's no screenshots of so of adventure, right? Or even got a 50th anniversary limited edition. Oh, so there is a screenshot there. So yeah, some kind of adventure game. So you telling me they couldn't have like made this? They couldn't have had a spin on this? What's Gangster Alley? Like a shooting game? Yeah, it's a shooting game. They even have a screenshot for this one. Look. So you're telling me you, they couldn't have made, like, a variant of this? Or tried their own sword quest? Or, or 9 to 5 was cancelled, whatever. Or even, like, Kung Fu Master? Look, it's gone... Look at the amount of board posts that has. At least there's Kung Fu there. But you see where I'm coming from. You see where I'm coming from here. There, there are so many games that they could have picked, right? To do, and yet they pick... Like, six of the most common games that you could imagine. It's just ridiculous, the audacity. But there we go, I'm not going to play anymore. That's Arcade Classics Volume 1. Absolutely terrible. Probably the worst game I've played out of this from Play It so far. So, absolutely terrible. But I've been Bio, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.